and just explain for absolute beginners no biology no coding needed imagine if you could read the entire instruction manual of life at all at once in just few hours that's exactly what next generation sequencing or ngs can do and today i will break it down in the simplest way possible don't worry if you are not a scientist or a programmer you don't need to be whether you are curious about genetics want to understand how we detect diseases early or just love learning new tech this video is for you by the end you will understand exactly how ngs work why it is transforming healthcare agriculture and even environmental science first let's start with the basic inside every living things is dna think of it as a big heavy instruction book but instead of using the alphabet we know it's written with the four chemical letter a t c g these letter tell us how our cells grow function repair themselves then comes the technology which is called as sequencing sequencing simply means reading those letter in right order the more accurately we read them the better we understand how life work how disease happen and how to fix them now let's compare about the old versus new technology in the area and domain of sequencing in past scientists used sanger sequencing which could only read small section at a time like reading a book word by word but next generation sequencing is like having a super scanner that can read millions of words or in this case dna letter all at once this make it much faster cheaper and more powerful now let's understand why is ngs important ngs isn't just a cool lab trick is being used right now in bio industry in academia it helps in detecting cancer mutation before symptom appear it can track viruses or pathogens like covid-19 to see how they changes it also helps in discovering genetic causes of rare diseases it also improve the crop and livestock in agriculture even they can help in monitoring the health of entire ecosystem in short it's a game changer for science biotech medicine agriculture and environment now let's break down the process into simple steps Usually we start with sample collection it could be from blood saliva plant leaf or even a drop of sea water then you need to extract the dna or rna we carefully remove the genetic material from the cells then require the fragmentation the dna is broken into small manageable pieces and then perform the amplification we make millions of copies of these pieces so the machine has plenty to read and then come the sequencing an ngs machine scan millions of fragment at same time reading the a t g c and then comes the data analysis a computer reassembles the fragments into full genetic sequences like solving the zian jigsaw puzzle and at the end we have a complete map of organism dna once we have the data scientists can compare it with reference sequences look for mutation and finds pattern linked to diseases trait or evolutionary history and that's the ngs from sample to full genetic blueprint all in one go if you want to see how scientists actually work with ngs data using beginner friendly tools check out my next tutorial and don't forget to like subscribe and share this with anyone who are curious about bio it and biotech